Hello and welcome to the DevOps training by Stardine.com. In this class, we are going to discuss the structure and the objective of DevOps course. This course we have divided into three major parts. First is infrastructure provisioning, then release process automation, and finally infrastructure management as code. When we talk about infrastructure provisioning, we essentially referring to the automation of virtualization and containerization. In this part, we are going to look at the Vagrant, which will automate the virtualization of both on-premises like VirtualBox from Oracle and in the cloud like AWS, Amazon Web Services. On the other hand, there is this new edge phenomenon called containerization, which we will do by the product called Docker. So we will learn about Docker and we will also learn how Docker makes the environment provisioning or infrastructure provisioning better and makes it faster. Apart from that, we will also learn how to manage Docker at scale. That is how to manage multiple servers or lots of servers which are running Docker containers and are managed centrally by Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a tool that Google uses to manage their container platform and we will use the same tool in this course. After infrastructure provisioning part, we will also look at the release process automation. Since the time people have been developing software, there has always been a method to convert the code into application and release in the production. But it has mostly been done manually in the past with automation used occasionally. Now in the new age, we are talking about automating this process end to end. And in that, our main orchestration tool is Jenkins. Alongside Jenkins, we will also learn Git, Maven, SonarQ for code quality analysis, Sonar Type Nexus for build version controlling, Selenium for testing tool and Nexus for monitoring software. When we learn Git, we will learn both the Git as command line and github.com for online option. We learn most of the options in Git command line and github.com site we will learn how to work on in GUI platform. We will also install Git private cloud environment. Some of the companies may not like to work on something as shared as public internet facing as github.com but would rather like to work on something of their own within their firewall inside their data centers. So we will also cover some of the GitHub alternatives that you can use within your own company and that can act your own private GitHub alternative. So in that sense, we will cover either GoGit server or GitLab open source software. We will cover from installation to configuration, everything will be covered in this course. We will use Maven as build tool and SonarQ for code quality analysis tool. When the code is converted into verifying or some kind of packaging, we will do version controlling using the Sonar type Nexus. By using Jenkins, we will deploy our Java application sample project into a Tomcat server. Once the application is running on the Tomcat server, we will do Automated testing, Jenkins gonna call Python code and Python will call Selenium test cases and Selenium will run against the Java application we have deployed on Tomcat, which will be validated against the test cases. After this, we will also look into the Nakios because that is continuous monitoring framework. Continuous monitoring is something that happen after the release is complete. Once the application is up and running in the production, then we have to monitor all the services properly running or not. We can do that using tools like AppDynamics or Nagios. So, in this course, we will cover how to monitor application services in both Windows and Linux server by using the tool Nagios. Next is the most important part of our DevOps course that is infrastructure management as code. In DevOps, there are three major coding languages which dominate the market. Those are Puppet, Chef, and Ansible. Puppet is the oldest of the three. It was released in 2005. 
Chef was released in 2007 and more or less these two have the largest market share. Ansible, on the other hand, the major challenger to these domains of Chef and Puppet. It has recently been acquired by Red Hat and that has boosted its market reach. So, there are a lot of places where Ansible is coming as the preferred tool because most of the environment there is Red Hat. In this part, we will learn all these programming languages as well as how to do various types of automation using these tools. We will cover a complete automation of our enterprise grade software end to end. That means starting from the operating system configuration, getting the right kind of database platform implemented, configuring the database using SQL script and implementing an application server on top of which an application will be deployed. Integrating App and DB. We will do all of these using both Puppet and Chef and Ansible. In Ansible, you will learn how to create a vault which is a secure way to store password. So, that's a very good coverage of all these tools that we are going to cover in this training. So, that at the end of this course, you should be able to code in three major coding languages. You should be able to do automation of both virtualization and containerization. We will learn how to create Docker files. We will also learn how to create Kubernetes YML coding and how to create the ports and the deployment coding languages. We will cover all these coding required for virtualization and containerization automation as well. You should understand how to code orchestration of Docker containers on Kubernetes. That is, how do you ensure that a Docker container is running on a server and if the server goes down, then how do you bring up that Docker container in another server? You should also understand how to implement a completely automated CI-CD pipeline end-to-end. -end. We will also learn Nagios. So you should be able to configure Nagios monitoring system using Nagios configuration coding language. So that's all for today. In the next topic, we are going to introduce you to the core concepts of the subject called DevOps. Thank you.